YouTubers and aspiring YouTubers, people wanting to create a YouTube channel, did you know that there are two metrics to making sure that your YouTube videos perform well and that you get subscribers and followers and ultimately make money from your channel? The first one is getting people to actually click on your videos, right? If no one ever clicks on your videos, why would YouTube break you? The second one is one we're gonna cover in this video and we're gonna teach you all of the important things that you need to know about increasing this second metric coming soon. So stay tuned, here we go. All right, welcome back everybody. My name is Jordan Steen, AKA Serial Entrepreneur. And at this channel, we talk about everything regarding social media marketing or starting an agency, personal branding or influencer marketing. And if you want to learn more about any of those topics, then you need to hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of this video. And then the notification bell so you get all of the updates to the content that we release, free trainings, the giveaways, all of that good stuff. So YouTube's algorithm kind of changes all the time, but there are two really important factors that go along with creating YouTube videos and running a channel that really determine whether you're gonna be successful or not. Ultimately, the number one thing, again, or well, the first thing, not necessarily number one, but the first thing is getting clicks to your videos. You have to get people to actually click on your video. That comes down to creating really enticing titles and thumbnails. But the second one we wanna talk about is even more important in my opinion because it actually deals with what people do after they click. It's the watch time. How much time people are spending watching your videos. And if people don't watch your videos, then it actually means it's really less relevant. I would say that if there's a number one factor, watch time would be the most important because yes, people can click to your videos, but if they don't actually watch your content, was it valuable? Is that click, does that mean anything? No, if they don't watch your content, it means nothing. So increasing that view duration is what it's called. We're gonna show you how you can find that or your watch time for your YouTube videos is the most important thing that you can do. So we're gonna cover some really cool methods to help you increase your watch time, some things you wanna add to, to your videos, uh, or some things you want to add to the process of developing your videos that's gonna help you get longer view, basically view rates. We were roughly, I think it, our view duration was around six minutes and 20 seconds. We've been able to increase that over the last four months to almost eight minutes Per, on average per viewer that watches our content on our channel. So that's amazing. That means we're getting almost two more minutes of talking to p the average person who watches our content. And that's, it's, it's great. We've actually increased our view rate almost up to 40%, which is amazing for a YouTube channel. And we're super excited to show you guys how you can do it for yours. And really quick, before we get into that, if you wanna figure out how to get your first 1,000 subscribers, we actually created a video for you on that. And we've actually had some people in the comment below that video tell me that they were able to increase their subscribers by using this method. So check that video up in the top right hand corner. So essentially everybody, watch time is calculated in minutes, okay? You can see average view duration in minutes, seven minutes and 42 seconds. I actually misspoke earlier, I said 40, I think what I meant to say was a 4% increase because we went from about 28% to 32% in the last few months. So. I misspoke there, but 32% for us is really, really great. We have an informational based channel, so we have longer style videos. So to retain 32% of our audience, you know, 32% of the way through the video is amazing for us. A lot of people, what they do is they skip the intro and stuff like that, and they get straight into the meat, which is perfectly fine with me. So we're happy with this, but ultimately, yes, we want to keep increasing. So we're looking at every possible angle or way that we can increase our view duration and really just focusing on the quality of the content that that we produce. So if you need to find your view duration, you can see right here, um, you know, we've actually increased, if we go back even further, like if I were to close this date range down from like here to here, actually let's go even further back, we'll show you early this year, just to show you what it was at. See, 29%, seven minutes, 11 seconds. If we go back even further in the year, six minutes, 31 seconds, 26%. So we've done really, really great at increasing this, uh, this average percentage viewed and the view duration. And we're gonna show you the techniques how, but if you need to find it, all you need to do is go in Creator Studio. You can click Audience Retention. You can mess with this graph here. You can also see Watch Time right here. You can just click on that and it'll actually show you Watch Time and then it'll even show you the videos that are performing well and the average view duration 
for each video. So this is good for understanding which topics you should create more of and which videos performed well. You can go check out those videos and say, okay, what was it about this video that made it perform so great, right? So this is all the stuff that you're gonna want to track for your videos with regards to watch time. But now, how do we increase watch time what are some methods to increase watch time let's go through those really quickly so the first thing you can do really is just to post at the right time and post consistently okay so posting at the right time means finding the right time of day for your audience if your audience is you know more local to you then you want to post in that local time frame right busy times during that time frame uh, you know, we usually like to post around 8 a.m. for our content because we know that the earlier we get it out, we have a lot of early risers with our audience. We have entrepreneurs, people who like to get up and start their day early and get going, right? So we post our videos early, but it's different for every niche or every type of, you know, channel. So look at your content. You know, you just have to start posting. Eventually start posting in times that you think are going to work the best and then look at that data and say, okay, which times are actually working the best when we post and just test different times. The next thing that you can see right here is called the end screen or annotation section and what you can see is there are little cards right here not cards but <laughs> little annotations or end screen pop-ups that come up at the very end screen that can take people to other videos get them to subscribe take them to our website so we usually at least put up one video that's related to the video they just watched to get them to continue watching our videos that's gonna increase watch time the second thing that you're going to want to do is create playlists these playlists definitely help you increase watch time because what you're able to do and you want to start recommending these playlists to people using these playlists as cards right you can use cards that's another thing another thing you can do to optimize your videos and get more people watching more of your videos but these playlists if you get them into a, a specific playlist and they know it's about that topic and they really want help or information about that topic they're going to sit there and continue to go through all of those videos and watch usually the full length of those videos if not a good bit of of those videos so creating playlists creating end screen annotations to keep them in your content is one of the best things you can do to create these videos and to get them watching longer another quick tip really quick and this is a master one I learned this from somebody else who I'm not gonna mention right now but this person taught me this trick and it was amazing what it can actually do create a bunch of videos around the same topic so for example with us we started creating a ton of videos on Facebook ads and the reason why is because once somebody goes to YouTube and types in a topic about Facebook ads then we have you know so many different videos and if we're getting a, a bunch of views we're creating a quality product we're not just throwing out random videos we're we're actually taking time producing these videos while putting a ton of information and value into them and then we're releasing on the same topics over and over again that means when somebody goes to type in Facebook ads or you know they want to see a video on that YouTube will suggest other videos to them right on the right hand column and stuff like that and it'll start showing my other videos on Facebook ads because they're continually watching my videos that I've already created on Facebook ads if YouTube knows that you like my channel and you like my videos on Facebook ads they're gonna show you more videos on Facebook ads so that means that person is gonna continue watching which increases the watch time because they want to learn more from you right so that is a super secret tip right there. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna talk about, and I'm gonna navigate over to this really quickly, is the hook. What is the hook? The hook is the very first thing you say in up to about the first 10 seconds of the video. That first 10 seconds of your video needs to get the point across very quickly. When I first started creating videos, I started doing them uh, and I would introduce myself and go into all of this explanation. But if you watch this video really quickly, you'll see that I just All right, so if you clicked on this video, you're probably in the process of starting a social media marketing agency, right? So I went straight into the point. I didn't beat around the bush. I just said, look, they know what they're clicking on because of the thumbnail and the title. So what I need to do is reiterate that point again, but also gives them something juicy or, you know, say something that's intriguing or engaging that's going to get them to say, damn, I definitely need to watch this video and see what he's going to talk about right so that is a super interesting trick the hook is super important one of the next things you can do is get them to subscribe and turn on that notification bell and the reason why is subscribers always watch longer videos right they are more of your videos because they know you they like you they know you're gonna bring good content so get subscribers I mean that's obvious but that actually 
it, it, it helps your bottom line when it comes to the view duration. So in your video scripts for YouTube, one of the next things you're going to want to do, it's something that I've kind of invented myself. I'm hoping it kind of catches on. That'd be pretty cool. But I call it the duration hook, okay? And what the duration hook does is it, it's, it's a statement that gets them to continue watching the video. So what we'll do is we'll have our intro, we'll have our hook, right? And then we'll have the welcome back and then tell them to subscribe. But then immediately after that, we tell them, make sure to stay tuned until the end of this video where we'll give you, you know, access to this or we'll teach you the one trick that you're definitely gonna need to do this, right? So it makes them stay longer into the video because they're like, oh, well, I wanna know that one point. So, and I'm not gonna be able to find it just clicking through. So I'll just sit here and watch. That duration hook is outstanding for getting people to continue watching through your video and increase that view duration. The next thing you wanna look at is increasing engagement, right? So you want to get comments on your videos. You can see right here if we go to a community, and that's gonna bring up all of our comments. So the next thing you wanna do is actually increase your engagement. Well, how do you do that? You get comments, you get people to like, you get people to subscribe, all of that is engagement, right? Click on links in description. You want people to engage with your videos. Why? Because it's gonna show it to more people, which means more likely that you're going to get more people watching longer versions of your video, right? So to increase engagement, what I recommend is at least two times in your video, you need to ask them a question that will you know, make them leave a comment. Um, or, you know, give them some piece of advice to respond to, just get them to respond to your video. So think of what kinds of questions or comments you can have them leave before you actually shoot your video. One of the final things you can do is called the video wrap up. And what that is, is basically a quick summary, like very, very quick, two sentences about what they just watched. Make sure that they subscribe again, asking them to hit the, the notification bell, um, reminding them about new videos coming up or suggesting other videos, stuff like that is, Again, you're getting them to the end of the video and you're still keeping them engaged because you're giving them a wrap up or you're giving them more advice or more information or more value that they can use and they're gonna keep watching. As long as you're giving them something, they're gonna keep watching. As soon as the video goes stale, that's when they click off. The final thing that's going to really make your videos get a larger view duration is going to be your uniqueness, your originality, your energy, your character. If people don't like you, why am I gonna continue watching your video, right? They need to like you. And if they don't like you, then they're not, again, you're just gonna have that lower view duration. So don't be afraid to put yourself out there, have high energy like I always do and try to do because I know that if I just sit here like this and I even will admit some of my older videos, I kind of slacked off on the energy sometimes. And I realized how important that was to keep my energy up and keep you guys happy because this is a show, it's entertainment. It's what you guys, it may be educational, but it's infotainment. I know you guys have heard that phrase before and it is super important that you don't forget about the entertainment aspect of all of this. People don't want to just be taught. They want to be entertained. So put yourself out there, entertain them, be weird, be goofy. It's okay because they ultimately love it when you're just being you. Okay. So be you. So if you guys have any questions or comments about anything that I mentioned above, or if anything just doesn't make sense, make sure to leave a comment below and let me know what you need help with, with regards to either increasing the quality of your content, getting more views, getting longer views, stuff like that. Ultimately guys though, just understand to wrap all of this up, you have to get people watching your videos if, and not just watching, but watching for longer amounts of time. If they're not watching your videos, if you're not monitoring your watch time or your average view duration, then you're really missing out on one of the most important factors with creating a YouTube video channel or any really kind of video channel. If they're not watching your content, then you creating that content means nothing. Does that make sense? So make sure you do me a couple things, hit that subscribe button and then the notification bell so that way you get all of the updates to really cool videos and training that we do all for free on YouTube. Last but not least, make sure you hit that thumbs up so that way other people know about this video and get access to it and get free training and all that kind of stuff. Thanks. All right, guys, I'm gonna get out of here and I will see you on the next one. Until then, Serial Entrepreneur out. Deuces. Ready to start living the six-figure work wherever, be your own boss lifestyle? Well, at Serial Entrepreneur Academy, we'll teach you how to use a laptop and internet to start your own social media and digital marketing agency. Get started with our free Facebook ads training. Links in the description below, guys. See you in the course. Serial Entrepreneur out.